anyone I know. Donald, dear, when do they let you out of Oak Haven? Don't pretend you care. I need some money. Oh, well, of course. What, somebody tied you over till the bank's open? What do you need, 10, 20? Now, let's make it uh, 10,000. <laughs> 10,000. You're mm -hmm. delusional. Yeah, it's my half of the advance for the Eric Kane Hatchet job. Mm, well, there will be no book. Let's just say the computer crashed. Mm, well, that's not my problem. I did half of the work. I want my share of the money. Well, Donald, dear, I'm sorry to inform you my bank account is bare. <laughs> yeah, don't give me that. <laughs> no, in fact, it's the truth. The publisher's been screaming for a first draft or a return of the advance. Oh, geez, you know, I thought you were rolling in it. <sighs> Would I lower myself to dishing dirt on Erica Kane if I were? Uh -huh. So you're, you're trying to tell me you're broke? Well, temporarily, without funds. What are you living on? Well, I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. Listen up, Blanche. You better get friendly with somebody real fast, because I'm not leaving Pine Valley until I get my cut. Vanessa? I didn't realize you were planning a threesome. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Oh, Donald Steele, this is Palmer Cortland. Ah, who needs no introduction? I hear you scored quite a coup regaining control of Cortland Electronics. I never lost control, Mr. Steele. Oh, Donald is a writer. Proust is a writer. This two-bit hack disembowels celebrities. What possible business could a lowly worm have with Miss Bennett? <laughs> Mr. Cortland, I ghosted on several bestsellers. Vanessa, one is judged by the company one keeps. This purveyor of pulp is hardly in your league. Oh, Palmer, Palmer, there you go, trying to defend my honor. <laughs> Actually, Mr. Steele and I are merely passing acquaintances. Well, you seem to be rather involved in your conversation. Oh, indeed I was. I was taking him to task. He plans to exploit our dear Erica in his next tell-all, can you imagine? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vanessa and Erica are buddy-buddy, so I thought I'd get some poison for my poison pen, you know. <laughs> Did she? <laughs> what, Vanessa? Are you kidding? She wouldn't trash a friend for love or money. <laughs> well, Mr. Steele, however, you can print that. Uh, Erica came to my aid at a very difficult time in my life. Or how's this for spin? Society matron and glamour queen shacked up in love nest. <laughs> I have said all I have to say to you, Mr. Steele. Vanessa, I think we should have dinner before this reptile ruins our appetite. Come on. <laughs> Did you and Erica ever patch up your differences? Uh, not yet. But in light of her forgiving nature, I'm sure she and I will be laughing and scratching together soon. You know, Opal, Opal's mistake was underestimating the, the bond that Erica and I share. Hmm. How long have you two known each other? Oh, dog's years. We first crossed paths when I came to Pine Valley. She, she was abandoned by her father. She, Oh, no, that's so tragic for a woman so always. I've, I've always kind of imagined myself as a surrogate father. <laughs> she does speak of you so glowingly. <laughs> oh, we've had our differences. Mm-hmm, what family hasn't? <laughs> <laughs> but in the long run, well, we've, uh, we've trusted each other. You know, I, uh, I can always depend on Erica, and she certainly can depend on me. Well, it must be quite a comfort for both of you. Cross Erica? And you have me to answer. <laughs> Good heavens. <laughs> oh, Miss Bennett, ah. there's a phone call for you. Oh, would you be alive and take a message? The gentleman said it was urgent. You can take the call in the lounge. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Excuse me, forgive me, Palmer. I hate technology. Whoopsie. <laughs> I hate yeah. technology, but I love its pioneers. <laughs> mm. <sighs> ah, Vanessa, I see you've already hooked yourself a mega millionaire, huh? I haven't. But you did, Blanche. Boy, you two look so cozy in there, you know? I bet you already got your hands in his pockets, huh? You are crudely mistaken. Better catch that gravy train before it leaves the station. Oh, well, if you'll excuse me. Listen to me, I got bills to pay. So you do whatever it takes to ring the chimes on his cash register. 
Oh, don't be ridiculous. Palmer and I are just getting to know each other. Well, I'll speed up the courtship because I want my 10000 in cash. And what if I can't deliver? <laughs> yeah. Remember those photos that you lifted from your son's office? Erica Kane, a Scarface, you know, before the restoration? Get me the money, or I sell Erica's 8x10 fright photos to the highest bidder, and you get sole credit. $10,000. <laughs> you might as well ask me to squeeze marinara sauce out of a turnip. Whatever turns you on, just as long as I collect. Donald, I need time. Well, okay, I'm feeling kind of generous. I could give you uh, 12 hours. <laughs> Look, Palmer is like a fine violin. Playing him will take finesse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You better start fiddling. You got 12 hours. Make him work for you. Yeah. Oh, Palmer. Please forgive the intrusion. Oh, no, I think nothing of it. Um, join me in the bar for a nightcap. Oh, dear, I'm afraid one is one is my limit. <laughs> one brandy, that is. What do you say we just lift the limits just for tonight? Oh, house rules. House rules. Well. The bar just happens to be a mob scene. We could retire to my suite. I promise you we wouldn't be disturbed. Lead the way.